this evening. Live from London 2012, my name's Amy Bainbridge. This is XL, where this is a Group B men's preliminary round match between the Beijing 20, 2008 silver medalists Bosnia and Herzegovina who are playing Rwanda. Rwanda winless in this tournament so far, but gaining very valuable experience and insight into the top level of competition. Now, if you're just joining us, the first set has been and gone. It was over in very quick time, I must say. And a relatively easy score for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Really not troubled at all. 25-7 was the scoreline in that first set. But I tell you what, the crowd here, they are really getting behind Rwanda. They know that this is really too difficult and ask for the team, but are hopeful that they're going to enjoy the experience and realise that they're very popular here in London. The big match of this pool group is tomorrow when Iran and Bosnia-Herzegovina play each other. Tomorrow afternoon, that's a rematch of the gold medal round in Beijing in 2008 when Iran came out the victors. So far... Bosnia-Herzegovina has defeated Brazil in straight sets and has defeated China in straight sets as well. Rwanda, meanwhile, has been defeated by China, Brazil and Iran, all in straight sets. So here we have it, the start of the second set. Number 11, Sabahudin Dalali is to serve for Bosnia-Herzegovina. So Rwanda celebrating Every point they score here. Very well placed. They're a class act, Bosnia Herzegovina. So Nizam Kankar is serving for Bosnia Herzegovina. So Rwanda on a bit of a roll in this second set. Dominique Bizamana to serve for Rwanda. So four plays two. Sluggish start to the second set for Bosnia Herzegovina. how it's done. Number 10, Alabasic. 
Very tough to return a serve like that, but he misjudges it this time and it's into the net, so that's a point to Rwanda, 6-3 in the second set. Disappointing there. It would have been nice to see Rwanda hold serve. So, Jusufovic serves now. Touched by Rwanda, so that means it's gone out of bounds and Bosnia Herzegovina scores again. We'll go to a timeout. Be able to help you with uh, keep up to date with some other events happening around the grounds tonight. There's plenty happening at London 2012 and fantastic crowds out and about to see it all happen. Very early days in the United States versus Spain men's wheelchair basketball match at uh, North Greenwich Arena, not very far from XL Arena that you see on your screens here. United States four points to Spain. Uh, the United States five points to Spain's four points. That's the men's group A prelim preliminary. And in the men's wheelchair basketball group B preliminary, uh, Poland 37 is leading Germany 29 points. That's in the second quarter. So another point to Rwanda. So eight plays four in this second set. Such strength and accuracy from these Bosnia Herzegovina players. And as I say that, he hits it into the net. <laughs> so there you go. Not sure if it's a little bit of a lack of concentration or just long the Rwandan serve. So very costly, these unforced errors. So as you can hear in the stands there, plenty of support for Rwanda, everyone loves an underdog. But uh, unfortunately it does look as though the team is going to go through the tournament without a win. Well, 10 plays six in the second set. And I did mention earlier that Rwanda have become the first sub-Saharan African team to qualify for sitting volleyball at the Paralympics. They qualified in London, qualified for London after claiming victory in the African sub-Saharan sitting volleyball championship. That was in November last year. They clinched their berth after a win over Kenya in the final to make it to London 2012. So here they are making their Paralympic debut in this sport. It's great to see. In stark contrast to the veterans on the other side of the net though, silver medalists from Beijing four years ago, gold medalists in Athens in 2004. Such power in their spikes. Point awarded to Rwanda. So 11 plays eight. Well, 
Rwanda putting Bosnia Herzegovina under pressure. Oh, and it's wide. But you can see that the Rwandans are playing with a little bit more energy and intensity this 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 set. Clearly energized by a couple of the quick scores they got early on. Don't forget to visit our Facebook page. Facebook.com slash Paralympic Games. You can give us feedback on the sports you're seeing on Paralympic Sport TV, wherever you might be, anywhere around the globe. Lovely piece of play there. They've kept it in play, the Rwandans. Was that... Was it long or was it in? It appears that the umpire has called that ball good. Excitement here on the Rwandan side of the net. Very good block by Ali Basic. Made it look very easy. Oh, well done. <laughs> celebrating. I could just really sense the energy from the Rwandan team. They're so much more animated and enthusiastic in, in the second set. I think they were first set a bit flat, probably quite intimidated by coming up against the Beijing silver medalists. And the energy of the crowd really helping them as well. So 15-9 though, Bosnia-Herzegovina racing away in this second set. But Rwanda has managed some really impressive points here. It's an excellent serve from Kanka. So we'll go to another timeout. Give you an update on what's happening Elsewhere around the park at the moment, two games of wheelchair basketball happening. So it's half time Germany, Poland. Poland leading Germany in the men's wheelchair basketball group B preliminary. So 37 to 29, an eight point lead there for Poland over Germany in that particular match. And there's another men's wheelchair basketball competition going on. 13 points apiece between the United States and Spain. That's the Group A preliminary match on day five of Paralympic action. You're watching Paralympic Sport TV. Amy Bainbridge with you. Live from the sitting volleyball men's Group B preliminary round. A bit of a mismatch in teams here. We've got the Beijing silver medalists up against the first time qualifiers at Paralympic level. The crowd is absolutely loving it at XL. So Ali Basic, you hear his name mentioned again and again. He's such a strong player. Safet Ali Basic is 29 years of age. Be 30 this December. And one of the stars of the Bosnia Herzegovina outfit. So 18 9, we're in the second set. Bosnia Herzegovina had a pretty straightforward win in the first set, 25 7. Only took them 16 minutes to wrap that set up. 
However, Rwanda proving a little more troublesome in the second set. Of course, Bosnia Herzegovina, with all due respect to Rwanda, would really just like to see this match over and done with as quickly as possible. They've got a big one tomorrow against Iran, and it is late. This match started at 9 o'clock local time. So quite late for athletes to be playing the match, given that they have to back up tomorrow afternoon against a top-ranked side. So they'll be hoping to make pretty quick work of this. So too many touches on the Bosnia-Herzegovina side. Four touches is one too many. So. Pizamana serves again. That's a good shot. They No. He's whacked his head on the ground, apparently. May need to be substituted off. So Ali Basic to serve again. It was a clash of heads by the sounds of it. Not on the floor at all. We saw in one of the women's matches earlier today there was a an accidental headbutt into the nose. And then we've got the ice there. So number four, Jean Rukundo is going to take the place of number two, James Witikanga. So he's going to go and have a little rest. He may be a little bit dizzy after that. So mixing up his serves. And that's a point to Rwanda. So 19-12. So they're doing much, much better in this second set after only managing to score seven in the first set. Drawing on the energy of the crowd, no doubt. So Emil Guningabo to serve now for Rwanda. Bosnia Herzegovina. If you're just joining us on Paralympic Sport TV, this is Bosnia Herzegovina and Rwanda playing in the men's. Group B preliminary round match. Bosnia and Herzegovina won the first set 25 7. They're up in the second set, but Rwanda standing up to them as much as possible. They're making some really good shots, plenty of focus and enthusiasm, and these are a great experience for them. Good block there. Oh, they were nearly caught out, Rwanda, but they managed to salvage it. So the rally continues. Oh, well, that was a great smash at the number seven. So Jusufovic to serve again.
good. Oh, they stayed in the point. Just couldn't quite get the next pair of hands to it. So Yusufovic to serve again. Set point. This is to take the second set. And they've done it. So 25-12 in the second set. So a little more difficult, but still relatively untroubled, Bosnia-Herzegovina. But Rwanda, impressive in their endeavour and commitment to the ball. up to date with some of the other sports going on at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. The wheelchair basketball, which we've been keeping you up to date with. So it's still half time. We're waiting for the second half to begin between uh, Poland and Germany. Poland 37, Germany 29 in the men's Group B preliminary round matches. And still a very close one between uh, Spain and the United States in the second quarter. So we're heading towards half time in that particular match and it is 16-15 in favour of Spain. So just the one point advantage at the moment. So a very, very close match indeed. So the crowd here at uh, the break between sets, the crowd's dwindling a little, but it's a very enthusiastic crowd and being uh, encouraged to sing along to pass a bit of the time while we wait for the third set to begin. But a lovely atmosphere at XL because they're really getting behind the underdogs, the Rwandan side, the first sub-Saharan African team to qualify at a Paralympic level to compete. And they certainly put it up to Bosnia-Herzegovina in the second set. But despite their endeavour, not quite enough, unfortunately. So 25-7 in the first set, 25-12 in the second set, both to Bosnia-Herzegovina. So Rwanda to serve. Number given, given shooty. <laughs> the shot is wide, so. Bosnia-Herzegovina 2-0 in this third set. Best of five, first to 25 points, must win by two. So Delalic to serve again. chant there 
And Rwanda's on the scoreboard in this third set. Three plays one, Bosnia Herzegovina. Rwanda has a serve again. Oh, an excellent block, but he's touched the net, unfortunately. So that point goes to Bosnia. Asim Medic to serve next. Such power and a great angle there achieved by Bosnia Herzegovina. Duran. Six two. a little flat on the return there so it hits the net Bosnia Herzegovina moved to seven two points this set to Rwanda so net violation Rwanda move to three on the scoreboard. Seven plays three. Rwanda will serve. He's met Gurunyak to serve. Oh, a lovely piece of play there. <laughs> In such wild celebrations, you'd think they would have taken the first set, but uh, not so. They've won another point. So seven plays four in this third set. So we'll go to a timeout now. the men's wheelchair basketball. The United States has hit the lead, 17, playing Spain 16 in the men's Group A preliminary round match at North Greenwich Arena. article on the BBC website, BBC News, has written about the Rwandan side. Talks about a volunteer aid worker who worked in Rwanda last year and ended up helping raise money to qualify for a qualifying event, which led to the team winning a place in the Games. If you're interested in knowing more about that, I'll post that link on my Twitter account. My Twitter handle is Amy underscore Bainbridge.
So 10-5, Bosnia and Herzegovina leading this match. And as I mentioned earlier, they'll be keen to get this over and done with as soon as possible so they can rest up for a big clash against Iran tomorrow. But Rwanda refusing to give up. And with the crowd's support, they're playing some excellent points here. So Morena serves. There's too much power on that. And Bosnia Herzegovina making some errors here. Ten to seven. Putting it out of the court. So Morena, no Gahamani serves. So another point to Bosnia Herzegovina. Just such a classy outfit this team. Manko serves. A good block. Made it look very easy. So there were four touches that time, not three, which is the maximum three and under is what you're allowed to use. Wheelchair basketball group B preliminary match between Poland and Germany. Poland is up by just five points, 45 40. And in that other match I've been keeping you up to date with 17 16, United States. No, the score has just rapidly changed. My website has just clicked over to reveal that uh, the United States is leading Spain 31-18. So we've gone from very close for first quarter in that match. Something dramatic has happened. Uh, it's now half time. No, we're nearly nearing half time. Sorry, my apologies there. The scores just ticked up 31-20. So the United States leading Spain in that men's wheelchair basketball match. <laughs> So a very big ask here for Rwanda. 16-7 in the third set, and they're trailing two sets to nil. Two sets to love. So such an experienced team, Bosnia Herzegovina. Of course, wanting to go one better at the games this year and take that gold medal, as they did in Athens in 2004, but missed out in Beijing to Iran in 2008 and they had to settle for the silver and also at the World Championships in the meantime they had to settle for silver to Iran as well. Well they will want gold this time around. Their first test comes tomorrow in the preliminary matches against Iran. There'll be a match up then and then the two teams will undoubtedly meet again in the finals. It'll be a semi-final and then the gold medal match. So as I mentioned, I've just tweeted that article about the Rwandan team that was written by BBC News. You can check their, their article on their website. And my Twitter handle is Amy underscore Bainbridge. If you want to find that article, find out a little bit more.
So 17-7 in the third set. Rwanda certainly played a good second set. 25-12, the scoreline. See if they can get their best score yet in this third set. Time out and 21 7. It's hard to see how Rwanda will come up with any answers, but they've played their hardest and certainly with great support from a very appreciative crowd at Excel. great day of competition at London 2012. The city has turned on the weather. It was quite hot this afternoon. Around the mid-twenties. Absolutely lovely. Of course, it was pretty overcast and a little miserable at the weekend, but there were still thousands and thousands of people here to come and watch these athletes in action. saw a little bit of the five-a-side football this afternoon. It was very warm for the players. So Manco serves. So Rwanda. Chipping away there, just managing to get another point. Another score on the board. So a short rally, but Bosnia-Herzegovina inching ever much closer to victory. This is the number seven, Kankar. Serves, it's too good. That brings us to match point. So this will be a straight sets victory for Bosnia-Herzegovina. But the Rwandans look as though they've had a good time. They've had so much support from the crowd and they've had some good passages of play as well. And there you have it. That is match point. 25-12 in the second set and they didn't quite manage to better their score in this third set either. So be a baptism of fire in many ways playing in something like the Paralympic Games for Rwanda it's always difficult no matter where you are from anywhere around the world when you make your very first tournament of this level in any sport as an individual athlete or as a team
So that winds up our coverage of the sitting volleyball on Paralympic Sport TV. Thanks for joining us. Of course, many, many great matches still to come in this competition. We do hope you can join us. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.